Good, Good morning. morning from Bimini. It's beautiful out there. We made it. We did. On Virgin, we did it. <laughs> we actually got here. So uh, the ship has been clear for about an hour. Uh, mm-hmm. We let the massive crowds just flock off. The, I haven't seen a whole lot of no, I haven't either. folks. I'm sure they're out there somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, grab some breakfast, and we are going to head to the pool and beach. I'm so excited. I know. This is, uh, I've been curious to see how it actually works. I've heard rumors and legends of all like food being included and all this stuff. They do pool like parties. events out there, pool mm-hmm. party, like summer camp activities for adults, things like mm. that. So we're going to go check it out. Nice. Let's roll. Yes. We've got beverages and berry bentos. D has gone with two fried eggs and various sides. I got a bowl of oatmeal and a frittata with some sides. Side note, they have a giant window in their pee pee room here in the restroom next to the galley. Whoa. Now, as we learned, we need to retrieve some towels. I guess we shouldn't just swipe the ones off the backs of the chairs. Let's find an approved station. Ah, never mind. So, for the Bimini Beach Club specifically, you don't take these towels. They have beach towels available. All right. I'm going to trust that side. That's right. I hope it's right. Because the app said, make sure you have a towel. So, mm mm-hmm. So deck four is the gangway. Oh, they do tell you ship time, local time. They've got some more information on the TV up here about getting back on board. There it is, 6.30 back on board. Towels, just as promised. Now we will just make our way up here to the tram line and head over to the beach club. Nice aft. So our choice is our Rockstar golf cart, which is not us, <laughs> or free shuttle board here. Yes, please. I guess you can always walk as well. It's about a mile and a half over to the beach club. First stop, Fisherman Village. You can rent golf carts here, go on excursions. Yeah, they'll, they'll run right up to the tram and ask if you want a golf cart. Appreciate <laughs> it. Now, a lot of times they'll make a stop at the casino area as well, but I think he said our second stop is going to be the beach club proper. Welcome officially to the Beach Club. They also have towels right over here as well as waters. Y'all, nobody is in this pool. I'm thinking um, it might be chilly. We're, we're gonna brave it. Found a couple of chairs right here poolside and uh, yeah, let's chill, literally. <laughs> <laughs> well, you jump right in. How's the refresh? It's like ice cubes. It's lovely. <laughs> Not that bad. Well, they do have stairs for entry, which is nice. I'm the second person in the room. I have committed to getting down. Yes, we are pioneers. There's hardly, actually, right now there's, uh, okay, one Us other person is getting in the pool. Yeah, one other person. Uh, it, it, so it's not that bad. If you just commit to it, jump it. in, and then kind of like dive under a little bit, it's fine. I'm not doing that part. I'm just going to get in. <laughs> For, forget the dive under part. It's nice. So it's just after 10 o'clock now. At 11 o'clock, they do like the adult summer camp games called We Run This Beach, which I assume is out on the beach. On the beach, yeah. And then at 1 o'clock, I think they start the actual pool, pool party. party mode called Float On. Yes. And the beauty about coming here with Virgin is your band works just like your card would. And you can buy your drinks on it if you have bar tab. Wi-Fi works over here as yeah. well. Yeah. So you have all the comforts of the ship, and then they provide lunch as well. So we'll check that out later. So there are two pools here. There is a bar down on this end. The beach is out in that direction. They got a volleyball net in uh, this pool. And then over that way is another pool, and I think the DJ booth and stuff like that. The weather is gorgeous. Wish you were here. We do. I'm reading the sides of the pool. I saw four feet, two inches. This is four feet even. Uh, then it goes to three feet, ten. Um, we're going the wrong way. We are tall people. We need deeper water. There's that towel station we walked by earlier. They got like a nice little lifty thing here. Oh yeah, there is a stairs out and then over to the other pool. It is pretty much right at 11 o'clock. We've seen them bring some stuff out over here. I'm not sure if that's for a game or if that's just something having to do with towels, but let's wander over to the beach. 
Oh yeah, I think what I saw was just extra beach towels here. But hey, let's grab another one since ours are up at our pool chairs. Thanks. Thank you. Man, they got beach wheel buggies. Well, they have got approximately a million bajillion loungers out here. Give or take a kajillion. Hmm. Well, we did not come prepared for Mermaid D to snorkel today. There are some dark patches out there that could be promising, but oh, I see some cones and stuff up here in the sand. Yeah, there's those cones, but I see some sandcastle buckets down here, so I think we got some competition getting ready to start. Oh, three minutes to make a sandcastle. Whoa! So there's something to this about making up a story, building a sandcastle. We missed the, uh, the setup for it, but... <laughs> Scarlet Knight is between the sailor and the octopus goddess. Octopus right? goddess, yes. This is her temple. We just could not pass. Oh, 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 so we're moving over to this now, which is a play on a Squid Game game. If you've seen the series Squid Games, it sort of mimics the glass panel game slightly. So each pair of cones has one red, one green. He just pulled the red cone. So that obviously is the green cone. Oh, I see. He's just doing peeksy, so we can't see what's happening. Yep, there's the green. Oh, okay, green there. Ooh, I see that's green. You gotta get, oh, nope, you gotta get 10 in a row, and you gotta sort of memorize what the person in the front of you did. Oh. 12.5% chance of winning right here. 25% chance of winning right here. So that team has been excused. Now the other teams have to fight for second and third place because you still get flags if you finish first, second, or third. Well, that's fun. So four games in total. We hung out for the first two. Now I think we are going to wander back and have some more fun ourselves. Well, time to get readjusted to this water. We grabbed a couple of these little spritz. I got peach and orange blossom. What'd you get? Grapefruit rose. He's being experimental. <laughs> Don't know that it's my favorite. I really like this one, but I will drink it. It's not bad. It's just, if you like rose, it's good. Don't think I like rose. <laughs> Let's head back to land mode and investigate lynch mode. Uh, there is the rest rooming zone. There we have got a soda machine. Lots of picnic tables, but we see folks eating at their chairs as well. There is the official menu. So we have salads, mains, oh, sides, and desserts. So you just place your order here, they assemble it and fling it to you. That is fast and efficient. There's a slightly better peek at the menu maybe at our tray that we're assembling. Wow. We've settled in here at a table. Y'all, I do not remember the words for half of what we ordered. I know it's got rice and beans, there's lechon, there's crispy fried something or other, there's a thing, like some stuff. Like red snappers, shrimp ceviche, and jicama, and watermelon salad, Damn. and rum cake. I'm glad you remember. Yeah. <laughs> it looks good though. It looks amazing. Y'all, this food, okay. That lechon asado, that pork, that was um, a showstopper. That was, yeah, everything that I just ate was delicious. I'm sure we'll talk more about it later. Just had to give you the update. By far, that is the best. I'm calling it a private island because when you come here with Virgin, it's all included. Um, private island food on any cruise ship we've ever had. I love how quick and easy it was. Options, you know, you had the menu and you can pick and choose. It was all there, no big long line, and sodas included too. So bonus, everything is yummy, yummy. <laughs> yeah. Now it is time to reapply sunscreen and get ready for a pool party. The volume of the tunes has increased. Let's get ready to float on! Ooh, I see the floats coming out. Now, we're curious to see, is it both pools or one pool? 
We're learning so much today. Oh, looks like it is just this pool down here. So let's join. Side note, they have these little gold rush whiskey sours in a can. So hey, we're gonna give that a try. The world is a sea of flotation devices. Big way. I'm gonna let you hit this one because I only have one hand. So here we go, y'all hit it. One, two, three. <laughs> How are we just now realizing that there are ledges in this pool? Wow. I think I did know that, but not today. I didn't. <laughs> there is a real life merman in this pool. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, you got a good float too. Good. Branding on point. Oh no, they've got water guns. They've been coming around with bubbles, all sorts of random toys. They're in the pool spraying. They're on the side of the pool spraying. What the heck? All right, this is how you do a pool party spin. Hey, without getting sprayed in the head by a water cannon. <laughs> oh, I see. Rain on me. That's a good song to tie into the water cannons. I'm in charge of the spin shots. Here we go. This is this is the, the video of all artistic spin shots. This is the best pool party ever. They have a little bit of everything. Gloves, bubbles, water guns, mermaids. Good music that's not too loud. True. Go Virgin. Very happy with this. What else could you ask for? I found the perfect float for me. It's a giant pink heart. I thought you were taking a picture. No, this is called, this is the video. I don't know what I'm doing right now. We have matching pink heart floats. Life Aww. goals achieved. <laughs> Pool. So we're just gonna get our float on here for a little while longer and we'll it's catch up with you. Pool hopping. Today. That's right, <laughs> between two pools. Yeah, but it's been really fun. I love it. See you in a while. See ya. Well, we have dried thoroughly, returned our towels, and it's time to head out. Oh, there's a cart sitting right out here waiting. Let's see if there's any space. to the ship. Welcome back. Boom. Good, Good evening. evening. We are ready for some food. Very much so. I'm we had, tired. We had a lot, I was about to say, we had a lot of sun and a lot of fun today. How was your first official virgin Bimini experience? It was amazing. Everything about it was so good from like in the morning. It was just kind of like a chill pool atmosphere, mm -hmm. like really calm music. They had the beach games, which were really fun. And then in the afternoon, they kicked it up a notch. But not too much, you know. You could go and do the float party if you wanted to, or you could hang out in the other quieter pool. The food was phenomenal, mm. like so good. And they had a lot of choices. That pork go. All mm. included. Um, yeah, they had mermaid, mer people. Mer and folks. Like a float party. I don't know. It was amazing. It was such mm. a good day today. I like Loved the, it. Sort of the choose your own adventure element. Like yeah. you said, you stay in the calm pool. 
you play volleyball or you go over and you float and the music goes, yeah, it never got too loud and mm-hmm. boom, boom. It was just, I don't know. It was good. And plus they were out there doing like little dance performances. Oh man, they are some of the best dancers and that's the happenings cast. That's not like the dancers on the ship. They're they really talented. Happening people is all I know. <laughs> so thanks to Bimini for being Bimini. Yeah. Thanks for being you, Bimini. Bimini, bimini, boo. Uh, we're going to dinner now. So mm-hmm. uh, we have a reservation tonight for one of the most experimental Controversial. Controversial dinners on the ship, which is a test kitchen. We like it. We do. We had menu one last time, if you saw our Valiant Lady series. But basically, you show up, you have very little choice into what you're eating. You can only really choose your main protein. And it's kind of like, I think of it as kind of a chef's table, yeah. whereas they bring you things and you eat them. Uh, but this one is a lot of molecular gastronomy, science, wizardry, horseplay, and shenanigans. And they can make accommodations if you're vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free, things like that. You just mm. need to let them know, and they have, like, substitutions for the menu. So that's really True. nice. So we're going to go be surprised because um, <laughs> they have two menus, and you do not know before you show mm. up what menu you're going to get. We've had menu one before. I'm kind of hoping for menu two, but I'll eat anything. Yeah, same. That's so, fine. Let's go. Test it out. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> So here on deck six, just past all these shops, we will find the entrance. There it is. Well, we just got checked in. I believe we're going to get a welcome beverage. Thank you. Guys, please have, a, have some zip. Is there gin and thick honey and ginger ale as well? Just like to refresh your palate. Oh, I see them making magic back there. Well, fun fact, we do get menu two, which is the one we did not have last time. Let's see a little teaser of our first course coming up. Dee has signed up for the wine pairing. I have signed up for the cocktail pairing. So with every course, we will get a new beverage. So the first course is a corn mousse, which has actually been shaped into the shape of corn. This is not real corn. It is just a mousse that looks like corn. And you're supposed to mix everything together and eat it with the bread, which is a corn baguette, I think you said. Yeah. Oh, look at that mousse action. And what? Okay. So this is our pure So up next we have a very, very smoky smoked salmon. Alright, the next course is what they are calling a beetroot cannelloni with beetroot foam. The noodles is totally gluten free. So D has gone with the shrimp option, and fun fact the noodle is gluten free. I decided to go for the lamb option, which is a nice little chop. All right, we're almost to dessert. Our palate cleanser is an asparagus sorbet with ginger candy. Well, the strawberry dessert is this, essentially. It's got all sorts of components in there. There's some pistachios. There is wasabi, which our server said is a level 2 out of 10. But it's mixed with white chocolate, so let's try it. This was another one of those tricks. Oh, I hear flute loops coming through the overhead speakers. He must be in the roundabout. That's what happens. There he be. We found him. one rule. If you want to clap, please go for it. Just do it on two and four. We all know what that is. One, two, three, four. Great. We're going to get along. Great. And he's bad, bad, Leroy Brown, baddest man in the whole damn town. Because I know just what to say. And you know just what to do. Home 
and good night. Now we have come up to the social club for some snacks. This test kitchen is good, but it's one of those meals that you probably need to come get a snack after. <laughs> we'll come to the front of deck seven to position ourselves for the show later, and I have not paid any attention to this room, the groupie. I guess it's like a private karaoke room that you can rent and have karaoke parties with all your friends. Now it's red room time. It is time for the untitled dance show party thing. Oh, there is a giant whale. All right, it's standing room only. Party time. Y'all, please do not lick your friend's face, okay? That's a good rule to live by. Good, Good night, night. y'all. <laughs> we have got to pack some suitcases. We, do. we had some plans for some other stuff tonight, but we got to do stuff <laughs> that is important, like packing, because um, we surprise. Oh yeah, are actually continuing on Scarlet Lady for one more cruise. So tomorrow is a back-to-back -back day for us, but we do have to change cabins, which means we have to pack. Yeah, <laughs> we booked this uh, upcoming one super last minute, so we were not able to get the same cabin. We haven't even made uh, been able to make dinner reservations, show reservations, anything. Because fun fact, we learned that when you are on a Virgin cruise, you cannot plan anything for a future Virgin cruise. The app locks you into your current cruise, and you cannot do those kinds of things online. You have to use the app. So we stuck. That's all right. Dinner, yes. Yeah, shows you don't make until you get on. Oh, board, you're correct. So that's not long, that won't be a problem. Good Same point. with like exercise, fitness classes, stuff okay. like that. So, so it's really just the dinners. Yeah, but well, that is a weird flaw in their system. Anyway, that's weird. Yeah, let's <laughs> talk about today. It's a strange today. problem to have. Yeah, we'll deal with tomorrow. Tomorrow, let's talk about today. So yeah. really, I guess the main thing is the untitled thingamajig party do up blop dance show. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's always a good time. It is difficult to see in parts of it, I will One say, scene. because there, this was a lot more crowded than the first time we saw it. And if people were like gathered, like, you know, 200, 300 people, they do this one part in the middle mm -hmm. and you can't see anything unless you're 
<laughs> right in the front. So a lot of people I could hear remembering our characters. Yeah, no, I'm like, sure it's good. Because it's a pretty now. extended segment. Like if, yeah. if you're familiar with the show, it's the part where everybody's running around in a circle. Right, right. And then they sort of give one person like a solo and all of that. I'm well, sure it was great. Nobody could see it. Unless so you're in the front. I saw nothing. So that was We that. didn't film that part, I guess. Cause... No, I would have just been filming people's heads. Yeah. Um, Beyond that, it's very good, yeah. very interactive, fun. Um, listen to the people with the little cones, mm. like traffic conductors, traffic. Is that what they're called? That's like the airport people. Yeah, Air people. traffic. Because they're, you know, keeping you safe and like yeah. when they're moving things. Um so they yeah. will run you over. And I like the lady who was singing. She's very funny. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, it's always one of my favorite shows, actually. Mm-hmm. This was the first show that we ever saw on Valiant Lady was this show, and it's what made me go, man, this is different, and I like it. Just go, be prepared to have a good time, get mm-hmm. involved. It's it's great. And be ready to stand for like an hour. Yeah, you know. yeah, you do have to stand. Yeah. <laughs> or jump. I guess yeah. let's let's go ahead and jump into dinner. Speaking of things that are slightly uncomfortable. Oh, gosh. Um, test Kitchen. Now, I did not take photos. I did videos and things like that in the moment, and overall, I had a quite pleasant meal. Me too, yeah. This uh, menu was my favorite of the two that we've had. I like the options on here better. Mm. Yeah. Um, the uncomfortable part is um, the seating. If you yeah. get seated at those high top chairs around any of the bars, at least both times we've done it, you kind of smushed in. We squeezed in there. You're a lefty. You were trying not to bump your neighbor. I was like, um, I'm really sorry. <laughs> like, like you are like next to each other. Yeah, yeah. There are some tables on the floor and some high tops that are a little more comfortable, but most of the seating in there is pretty miserable. They actually came and removed a place setting next to me so that we could move our chairs down a little bit to give space, which was very that nice. That was nice, yeah. But in general, it's a squished experience. It's an but, hour and a half yes. as well, so keep that in mind. Yeah, and it is going to be that because that is the pace that mm-hmm. they serve you. Even if you eat fast, it's still going to be an hour <laughs> and a half because I eat fast. Um, but great overall. I, really I think good. I loved every bite, like I said. Mm-hmm. Um, the lamb, whole meat will be. It was good. Not as good as that pink agave steak, but the lamb was very <laughs> good. Uh, but yeah, everything about it. So. The smoked salmon was my favorite. Mm. And dessert, surprising, honestly, it was like wasabi, but he was like, it's a level two, not a level yeah. 10, with white chocolate and pistachios and strawberry. It all went together, and he had that wasabi taste, but it didn't mm. burn. So it was like, I told Jay, I was like, it's like a haunted house. That's <laughs> like, how I was describing it. Like, it's like you think you, it's scary. But it wasn't scary. But it's not a that scary. A mild haunted house. There you go. <laughs> Yo, we're going to pack. Yeah. And bedtime. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, we're getting ready to go talk about a shower. Me. Um, yeah. But y'all, we'll see you tomorrow morning, which is coming up right after all of this. So stay tuned. For more fun, things that we didn't get to do this week, we'll do next week. Oh, for so next week. Don't stop watching. Don't stop. <laughs> Good night, y'all. Bye. And now it's time for In the Shower with Jay Scarlet Lady Edition. So this is a shower glass door model as opposed to a shower curtain model. Is that a weird phrase? It's a shower glass door model. Um, it, the door does actually go both ways. Hey, Virgin Voyages. Uh, it opens outward, which is actually a little bit more convenient to get into it. And then once you've showered and you're in there, it's convenient to step to the side and just do this so that you don't get water all over the bathroom floor and the bath mat and stuff. Anyway, let's leave the door inside. Uh, it's still wet because we have the once a day service and this was used and has not been cleaned yet. So I'm not going to get in there with my sock feet. But let's take a look at it. We've got the sprayer on the wall. We have a clothesline. We have a rainfall shower head. Over here, we have separate products for body wash, hair wash, and conditioner. You've got your little knob on the top, which if you rotate it to the left, it activates the sprayer. If you rotate it to the right, it activates the rainfall shower head and temperature controls with numbers on the bottom. A little grab bar there. Very, um, simple. No little bar at the bottom or anything, you know, for the shaving or the meat hanging. But anyway, it's, um, suitable. I think this might be the same kind of shower we had on Valiant Lady, so I'm going to have to consult the spreadsheet. But everything about the bathroom situation on this ship is, um, a little smaller than completely comfortable. It's it's workable, but a, a lot of it's small. So anyway, spreadsheet, here it comes. All right.